Hi friends, my name is Dr. Bandana Jain. I'm a cornea cataract and LASIK surgeon. Today, I want to talk about femto-LASIK with you all. Now, LASIK as a surgery has undergone a lot of advancements over the years. So today, conventional LASIK is just one of the options that you have to get rid of your glasses. Femto-LASIK, Smile LASIK, Advanced Surface Ablation are many other options which are there. So femto-LASIK is a more advanced option of LASIK. In LASIK, when we do the procedure, we create the flap with the help of a motorized blade called microkeratome. And after the flap creation, we do the excimer laser ablation. Now, if you see, when we are doing the femtosecond laser, we are not using the blade. We create the flap with the help of a femtosecond laser. And after the flap creation, the flap is reflected and the excimer laser is done on the cornea. After the excimer laser ablation is performed, the flap is again put back and it again becomes a part of the cornea. The advantages that we get with femtosecond laser are tremendous compared to conventional LASIK. With the conventional LASIK, when we create the flap with the microkeratome, it is dependent on many variables. For example, what is the thickness of the cornea? What is the curvature of the cornea? and what is the diameter of the cornea. All these variables may impact the flap that is created on the cornea. Whereas the femtosecond laser is independent of all of these variables and that's why the accuracy of flap creation is far better with femtosecond laser compared to with conventional LASIK. Secondly, any kind of flap related complications, for example, flap displacements after an injury or aggressive eye rubbing or other issues such as epithelial ingrowth they are reduced fourfold with the flap that is created with the help of femtosecond laser. So femtosecond LASIK overall is far more accurate and precise compared to conventional LASIK. Naturally, some people worry that will the do's and don'ts and recovery period change after femtosecond laser. So the answer to that is not really. Anyways, with LASIK, the recovery period is really quick most of your normal activities like driving, cooking, going back to work, actually you can go do all of these activities within a day itself. Some of the other things like swimming, hot spa, jacuzzi, eye makeup, putting water in your eyes, bathing your head in a normal fashion, all of these things are allowed within 7 to 10 days. So if at all, after Fem2 LASIK, the recovery period actually is shortened and it is far more safe. So we are getting double benefit after Fem2 second laser. So another thing that people um, ask me about femtosecond LASIK is the cost. But I feel that's not the right way of looking at any procedure. We should look at the value that we get from any procedure. So compared to conventional LASIK, femtosecond LASIK is more expensive. But isn't it more valuable as well? We are getting more accuracy and precision, more safety by getting femtosecond LASIK done. So according to me, we should be focusing on value and use that value to get freedom from glasses and enjoy a beautiful vision.